Oh, hi there. Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes for a vMix Funtime Live show? No? Well, that's, this video is not for you. But if you are, let's go ahead and take a look. This is where we do the vMix Funtime Live show and it's super dark. The vMix Funtime Live Show Studio. This is where we produce the show every single month. Now, I've actually kind of jumped the gun a little bit here. We have a lot of preparation that needs to go into the show before we actually produce it, like letting people know when the show is actually on, which is kind of important. Creating lower thirds, videos, images, so we can do a proper show. It wasn't really all that exciting just to jump into my work computer to show you all that. I thought I would get into the studio first and spin around a bit. So now I'm going to go back to my work computer to start creating all the assets for the show. You might be wondering, well, how exactly do you work out when the vMix Funtime live show is going to be on? It's not exactly regular. Well, we like to do it on a Wednesday morning, once a month here in Australia, just depending on how busy we are. A lot of the times we don't really have time to prepare for the live show because we're busy doing things. So it's usually fairly irregular, but it's at least once a month. Now, if you were looking for regular viewers, on a weekly live show or a monthly live show, I definitely recommend sticking to a schedule on a particular day of the week or the month. Now, as you can see here, it's not exactly a scientific process when we determine when it happens. It's basically, have we done a show this month? No, we should probably do a show. I fired up my work PC, which is probably most famously known for the vMix petrol price Friday afternoon live stream, where I talk about local petrol prices on our Facebook page for some reason. Now it's also where I do important things like answering emails, and it's where I sit and cry when I read my YouTube comments. First thing I like to do is create a promo image. So August really felt like a penguin-y kind of month. So I went to Storyblocks and found a good image with a penguin. And then what I do is just add all the information to it. Again, if you don't stream regularly, it's always a great idea to be able to let everybody know when it's going to be on. Then that gets uploaded to our forum. So I let everybody know exactly when it's on in your time zone by clicking this link here. And I also have a poll as well. Now you'll notice in the poll, I have everybody's favorite oceans, including Billy. So I'm thinking hopefully if I add a short bit of Caribbean Queen here with a review, then I can add it to my YouTube video. So I give Caribbean Queen five out of six oceans. Uh, phenomenal song and it's fantastic. So once I've finished the forum, then I head to Facebook and I'll update our Facebook page with all the relevant information about our live stream. And guess what? Sometimes you do make a mistake. So I accidentally had the wrong date here. So if you've been watching this going, hey, that's the wrong date. Greg Gibson pointed that out. So I made it, managed to fix that up before a show is on so people didn't get too confused. So that's another one of the fun things. I always tell people to test, test and test again, but also proofread and double check everything you're doing especially if you're trying to do a tutorial video. Now, if you have seen any of our videos, you know that I like to make nonsense intro videos and that includes this month as well. So I've included an Ocean Talk video here. Now, Martin really has no idea what Ocean Talk is about, but I'm gonna make this video automatically transition to his vMix call so he can talk about oceans. So I like to keep him on his toes. Now, I also downloaded this awesome rat video this week, uh, but I really don't think I'm gonna be able to fit it into this particular video. I maybe have to find a different place. This is something that keeps me happy. There's no point in making videos and live streams if you're not doing fun stuff that you enjoy. So I like making ridiculous videos. Next thing I'll do is go through our titles that we might have in the production. So this is last month's Do You Like to Party poll. Now I've had to adjust this to include only six fields. So I've just adjusted this down and made the changes so that it only shows the smaller location with the six fields as opposed to the eight fields. This is the lower third that we've been using for the last few months. I built it, so I think it's pretty grouse. Now, as you can see here, the dancing banana is dancing around this little ball here. And when we transition in, it's going to roll in and then it's going to display the content and it's going to roll out again. Now this image here is actually an image sequence. So what I did was I actually downloaded this video file here. I cropped it up in Premiere, I exported it, and then I brought it in as an image sequence into the GT title designer so I can have a consistently dancing banana. So if we go down here to the continuous transition, you'll see that I've set that to the image sequence here. So that's going to be constantly dancing exactly how I want it to. So you can be really creative with the GT title designer and create all sorts of crazy things for your titles, picture in picture, and all your bugs and that sort of thing. Now, as I do have Martin coming in on a vMix call, I wanna create a picture in picture here so we can both be on the screen at the same time. Basically, I've just created this rectangle here and what it is, it's a gradient. So I've set up a gradient between this blue and green color. I've also created a border around it. I've added a bit of a shadow underneath it as well so it stands out a little bit. And then what I've done is gone to the animations and I've set a continuous fill offset. So the fill offset will mean that it will change between the two colors of the gradient. So it just makes it a slightly a little bit more dynamic. 
Then I've created a couple of rectangles at the top here and then added some text so that I can edit his name uh, for the picture in picture. Lastly, I like to create a little bit of a script or a rundown for the show that I can upload to our teleprompter. That's right, we do slightly prepare some things, nothing too in-depth though, we just like to have some information so we don't forget things. So I have myself in blue here, the pink ones are different actions that I need to take, like show setup image, play video one, play video two, Q&A. So those are programmed to shortcuts on our X keys, and also Martin here is in orange. Now this would usually be a little bit longer, but there's not a great deal to talk about this much. So I'll save this and then upload this to our Dropbox and then our teleprompter. Now it does remind me, I do need to check up our setup image here. So this is the infamous vMix setup image that we show every single month. I know it gets boring, but we like to show it every single time. Now, as you can see on the right hand side of my very unorganized Photoshop window, all the different layers of controllers, cameras, computers, converters, all the stuff that we've used over the years. Uh, and I turn these on and off depending on what we're using, like keyboard, mouse, that kind of thing. So I just go ahead and switch through all of this information that we've used over the years. So this hasn't changed since the last month, so I don't need to worry about that. So I'm just gonna save this out and use it in this month's production. Yes, I'm just gonna play this, it'll make more sense. So Alien Dance Party featuring Dancing Rat, I've managed to get it in there. Martin, hope you appreciate this. But no, seriously, if you're making live streams and live production, you may as well make it fun and enjoy putting Alien Dance Parties and Dancing Rats in your videos. Oh, now something that I should actually probably mention that's helpful uh, is that I like to include dip to black as the video fade out here, as the transition out like so. It's gonna give you a nice smooth transition to black on the video and then constant power will fade out the audio for the video track here. So that means that you can use any transition in vMix like a cut or something and the audio in the video is already smoothly faded out for you. So now I'm just going to render off all those videos that I created and then I'm going to add them to the production. All right, so now that we've uh, finished all of the production setup, we need to get into the Stu Stu studio and uh, I'm gonna turn on the PC, organize the audio and all that kind of stuff now. Okay, so this is the PC that we have for all of our productions for our monthly live stream. I'm just gonna turn it on here, I'm gonna fire it up. It's alive. Okay, now those are the specs for it. Same one that we use every month. Okay, now this is the audio setup that we have. So we have a bunch of wireless Sony wireless packs. So that's the sender. We have our microphone, our DPA microphone attached to. Uh, and these are the receivers that we have. Those then get plugged into the Behringer and that's converted by USB to digital audio into vMix so that we can use it in our production. So I'm gonna grab one of these and then I'm gonna go and grab some rechargeable batteries and then chuck them in the microphone and head into the studio. So here I am back in the studio. As you can see, I've got my cameras, got the big TVs here for monitoring everything. The lights are all going up on the truss. Uh, green screen over here. I've got my Surface uh, for vMix Social and I've got my laptop here that I'm just gonna be recording all the tutorial stuff on. So let's get a seat. On the next episode of the vMix Funtime Live Show Behind the Scenes. Spinny Fingo up here. Now what I like to do is I like to hold it down. Where's my outro video gone? There it is. Should have worn my glasses. This is, wasn't a good idea to do this without my glasses.